Wracamy do gry z pragnieniem niesamowitych wrażeń. Poczuj doskonały smak Coca-Cola Zero Cukru. Now I think uh, there is one midfielder very good. I don't want to say the name. But it's a central midfielder, central rather midfielder. offensive or defensive? Both. <laughs> Both, so number eight, for example. Yeah. In Górnik Zabrze. <laughs> Maybe. Dziś w programie Prosto w Szczene mamy szczególnego gościa, którego musimy trochę przedstawić, zanim się z nim przywitamy, bo być może nie jest tak znany szerokiej publiczności twarzą. piłkarskiej twarzą, ale jest to postać, którą wiem, że nawet Ty, Wojtek, jesteś zafascynowany, odkąd przyszedłeś do Juventusu. Kto to taki? Jedna z niewielu, które, które lepiej się na piłce od nas. <laughs> na ogół są, są piłkarze. Dzisiaj naszym gościem jest dyrektor sportowy Juventusu, Fabio Paratici. Fabio Paratici. Dzień dobry. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Fabio. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry, dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Ah, okay. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Fabio, uh, I'm wondering because I saw that you hide your uh, mobile phone before the program and I think it's the it's your the most important tool in your work. So yeah. how many times you are charging the battery during the day? No, I have I have the double battery. <laughs> ah, double. So otherwise <laughs> otherwise it's not possible to work. Every, uh, all the day. So how many hours you're spending on the phone? I spend a lot of time. It's like a four But also hours with my friends. Hours. It's not, not just uh, for uh, for uh, uh, job. For <laughs> no, no, no. For job, uh, I I I spend a lot of time. But is is uh, our job, and uh, is normal for me. I don't know how many hours I stay. A lot. But like you can see him walking around, around, always with the yeah. with the always headphones. Always I have. We have a great example here the guy who were transferred to Juventus. So why you, not only you, but other people who are working for, for that, decided to sign Wojtek? Yeah, that's interesting. We have, yeah, the, we process. Have, the process is, is easy in Juventus because we don't have, I don't like have a lot of scouts. So we have just a three scout and one chief scout in the first team. Mm -hmm. I don't like have a lot of scouts in the first team because when you listen a lot of people, Maybe it's difficult for, for you to Every, understand which is the best. Everybody wants to bring their yeah, player. Yeah, this is, which is the... After I have three people, I, I trust in, in them. And uh, when they say me something, for sure I check the situation, but I know what they want to... So who, who was the one that said we have to take Chesney? Yeah. <laughs> uh, who, I, I want to I know, I want to thank him. No, the, the truth is that, uh, you know, I know you a lot of... Here because uh, Wojciech was a big talent in under 16, under 17, and we followed the player. Really? Right? Yeah. You had a rep until, in until, yeah. Juve after when Wojciech was under no, 16. Also, yeah, also, no, also when I was in the, I stayed in Juve. I was in Juve nine here, mm -hmm. and before I was in Sampdoria. And when I was in Sampdoria, Wojciech played under uh, 17 European Cup, and after. At a tournament, and we follow this kind of tournament. So you saw him when he was 17? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Do you didn't know, know because who is Fabio Paratici? Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> no, because uh, before I was a uh, chief scout. So it's, it's different. It's different. You can uh, follow better this kind of. And after, if, and after is my. The football is my passion, so I, I want to know. Yeah. I want to understand what's, uh, what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. this is. But it's very interesting because I, I heard that you are natural born scout, natural born sports director. Because when you were a young guy, you yeah. had special notebooks when you are describing players, yeah. football players. So how old were you when you did it? Like seven years old or ten no, years old? No, because I, I was a football player but not so good. Third and division, it, second yeah? division. And I understand that uh, when finish this uh, kind of job I have to do something. And, and my passion is football. So. Is natural, like you. This is true for me. That before I look, I don't know some matches on TV, mm -hmm. and I take some notes. Notes because I want to to understand if I, uh, for example, I say ah, this player is good. I want to know if in two three years I look him in Champions League or uh, in yeah. some big teams, and I take some notes. This is for 
when I, I but stopped. But how old were you? Like, uh, 24, 25. Ah, 24, 25. 24, 25. 24, 25. And after, until 31, when I, uh, I leave, so uh, I stop football, I do this every year and, and my holidays, for example, was the 15 days holidays, okay, to the sea like this, and 15 days tournament of the youth, so <laughs> like this. So it's a so truly passion, that's yeah. very impressive, but you have some good shots when you are, for example, you were 24 and you notice a player during the game. Oh, this is a very interesting guy. I will check him in three or four years. And then three yeah. or four years later, Platini. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you know, one was, uh, I remember, because one of the first was a, a Polish player. Really? It was uh, Kosowski. Kamil Kosowski. Kamil Kosowski. I look, I remember, I look at one game in Europa League, WEF. In uh, Wisla Krakow, Kosowski and Zurawski. The, yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I remember the name because... And you say them quite good as well. Yeah, Zurawski is not an easy name. In the last uh, two, three years, Polish football has a good striker. So Lewandowski, Milik, now Piontek. And uh, Kodatski we have in Serie A. Yeah. And uh, now I think uh, there is one midfielder, very good. I don't want to say the name. But it's a central midfielder, central rather midfielder. offensive or defensive? Both. <laughs> uh, both, so number eight, for example. Yeah. In Gurnik Zabrze. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know which guy you're mean. It's, not, it's not like it's a big secret, everybody knows he's good. Oh yeah, I know, but no, he's not. He's not ready for our level. Uh, exactly what me. I mean. It's not re ready that for the level. That is a good player. He's a good player in, in the youth. Uh, is a at the moment, he's on the same level as Kosowski ten years ago. <laughs> you just write, write the name and see what yeah, happens. Right, the name, and after we will see. Yeah, but, but I heard that Juve scouts are watching a lot of players in Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia. Yeah, so the youth, the youth uh, national yeah. team. We follow. That is our job. Is our job is to follow this kind of uh, of competition. Under 17, under 19, under 20, we follow all the national in also, Europe. Also, for some reason, I think even business business wise, it's clever to to watch players from Eastern Europe because the they same player, the, the same player that you can buy for five seven million from France, you buy for two million from yeah. from Poland. So yeah. when I was in Sampdoria was more easy this mm -hmm. kind of because you can buy this kind of player yeah. here now is more well, when you went to calls, you, you, you yeah of course, bring the price it's up. more difficult also for this kind of youth arrive in Juventus and play the the team is very competitive is difficult so it's you can buy for to give a loan and hope exactly one time one in one moment in one year two years they can they come can back. Good. I yes. think that must be a difficult part to, uh, if you are at a big club. I'm talking the top 10 in Europe. Because you, you cannot just buy a talent anymore. If you, if you bring the player to yeah. the team, you have to take the player that will make the team better. Yeah. You, cannot, you cannot hope yeah. every time this will work, this will not work. Because there's, there's not enough places in the team. Like if, if you now bring a talent from Poland, let's say you think he's a big talent, in two years he might be ready. You bring him and where you put him in the team? Uh, you, yeah. let, you let him train with the team and you do nothing. This is true, this is perfect. This is the... the I can help you if you want. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 it's, no, it's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting because, you know, for our job, this thing is the worst thing. Because our job is to discover the talent. Mm -hmm. But when you are in this kind of uh, teams, you have to to buy the player for to be better the team, not for discover the talent, you know. And you are a little bit. And and the problem is if, if you don't you know, buy the talent and in, in two years he, you yeah, have to pay you fifty is, million, you go. This ah, this I is, knew it. I should have bought the talent. You are a little bit more. Yeah. Um, limited. Yeah, limited. Yeah. This is maybe he wouldn't develop so good in the second team of you. Yeah, yeah. Of like is. he developed in the Sampdoria, another club. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this for is. For sure. It's like I, I love the the old story. Uh, where Arsenal wanted to trial Ibrahimovic. Do you remember the, the story? Yeah. And, and he said that Ibrahimovic doesn't do trials. But you don't, and, and now you say, oh, Arsenal could have had Ibrahimovic. You don't know what Ibrahimovic could have been if you went to Arsenal when exactly. he was 15. You, you don't know. And it's the same. He became a champion because he came to Juve. And it's exactly the same, his story about Lewandowski in Legia Warsaw. Yeah. So, but you work in Sampdoria when... Uh, yeah. Yeah? This time? When the Genoa wants him? Or? Yeah, Genoa and, and Sampdoria. Sampdoria yeah? And Sampdoria. Yeah? So Lewandowski? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We want, uh, the, we want from Lech Poznan yeah. or from Lech Poznan? Lech Poznan. 
Yeah. yeah. So, Remember what was uh, the guy? Le- it was it was two Lewandowski and Blasikowski. Mm-hmm. Blasikowski was in this like in this like Krakow, Krakow. Mm-hmm. and Lewandowski in like Poznan. But after they 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 want to go to Dortmund is more. But the the choice I remember the choice was because it's also the language is yeah. more easy for them and uh, also Dortmund. I was think a big I think was not, it's not true. I think the Italian language is much easier for, for, for Polish than for us yeah? German. Yeah, really. Ah, okay. What was the Lewandowski in the reports? Like hot prospect for the future or the guy who maybe will develop? No, 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 it was, was uh, top. Top? It was good. Top talent, yeah, yeah? Like, yeah. Because in Poland, I think when he played in Lech Poznan, we claim like, oh, maybe he will be like adding Dzeko in Wolfsburg because yeah. he played in Wolfsburg. It's kind of type of striker, but he became much uh, bigger. I, I think he surprised everybody. For yeah. Even in Poland, he, is, no, he surprised like, everybody. Like, uh, and after uh, Lewandowski won, uh, uh, was in Dortmund, uh, he do in one so year in one year two years so yeah big uh, improvement improvement yeah this is like when when he when he signed for Dortmund there was who was the striker B- uh, Lucas Barrios Barrios yeah Paraguayan and Barrios yeah, I think Barrios got injured or, or did he leave to China no leave to China yeah. to Le- China. left to China and all of a sudden in one year he was one of the top five five ten strikers in Europe when you look one player. Five times, six times, seven times in three months. This is the player. You know him. Uh, you, On the pitch. You know him. Okay? After, if you have to look, after two years, you have to look another time, three, four times. But at the moment, you understand that the player, is you have understand, you. is this. But you have to understand also outside the pitch. The, 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 the character, the, to the, 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 the ambition, the, the, the character, the ambition, the skill of the, of the guy. If he's serious, if he's, uh, the parents are involved in the career of the, of, the, uh, of the guy. You know, this is also the wife is important, it's the, the other thing. Uh, you checked Marina before. <laughs> <laughs> but that is well, true. I'm here, so she, she must have passed the check. Yeah. She must have passed the test. Oh, but, check, but check, I don't want to know the wife so good. No, I don't want to just. Uh, <laughs> I don't let you anyway. It's your choice, okay? No, no, but it's important. Control. When I signed for Arsenal and when I knew they were scouting me, because the first time they scouted me was under 16, Poland against France, and then I was told that they were scouting me and they want me to come on trial to Arsenal. And uh, my agent told me, be careful because I spoke to them and when they come to watch you now, they don't come to watch you play. They want to see how you react when you consider a goal. They want to see how you speak to your defenders. They want to speak how you react when you lose the game. So don't worry too much about yeah. the game. They like mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Just worry about this is what, what you do. Good. And, uh, and I was like, you know, uh, we played against, <laughs> we played against Czech Republic and <laughs> we, lost, we lost 3-2 in uh, Wrocław. And uh, I remember we lost the game. I was really upset. But I went to all the players, I said, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I went to the fans, you know, <laughs> the 10 fans in the stadium. <laughs> Which profile of players there is not many on the market in Europe? Maybe you have, you probably have your own opinion about it because you are watching all of them. There are some uh, country where you have some position always, mm-hmm. okay, in the history. For example, in Italy, the defender are always top. Always on top, more or less top in Europe. In Poland, goalkeepers. In Poland, no, it's true. It's in Poland, in Poland, Czech yeah. Republic, in the goalkeeper are always yeah. Yeah. top. A lot of uh, the, one time, one one year in in Premier League, are three or four. Polish Boris goalkeeper, Kamiański, yeah, in uh, the in the f- and in the first uh, three for uh, yeah. for a uh, club in the Premier League. So, so this uh, like France, a lot of central midfielder, mm-hmm. always top. For me, the right and the left back, the big team are more or less always are Brazilian. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, that's the true. winger. More or less, a lot of winger are Holland or um, Dutch. Dutch, yeah, like Robin, yeah. Robin, but the, the school in the is the history now follow. Is it by accident or is it? Uh, no, is is the the former, yeah. the, the 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 school. Yeah. 
the football school. It depends. It depends of the also the the style of football. Yeah, I think the striker. So what you are saying is because we have a really bad style of football in Poland, we have good goalkeepers. <laughs> no, it's you know no, why? The history. You know, you know why? Because we are quite good in individual sport, and I think that goalkeeping is kind of individual sport. So it's much easier to create a goalkeeper who is kind of individual sport. Yeah, or we have a lot of crazy people, maybe. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, <laughs> take, for example, in, in, in Brazil. Until 20 years ago, never Brazil has a big goalkeeper. Tafarel was Tafarel like the first one. One, mm -hmm. one time. Mm -hmm. But now, in the last 20 years, yeah. a lot of... You had Dida, Alisson, yeah, a lot of uh, Cesar, uh, good uh, uh, goalkeeper. Neto. Why? Because the Brazilian people won't play with the Foot. Yeah. So after change the rules and the people okay, also me I want to play in the yeah. and this is But you actually didn't answer the question, but there are some players you missed in now nowadays on the market? Like right back. I can tell you right back uh, uh, you have is is do is is but the difficult uh, position in the world now. Central defender for me. Central defender. Central defender there yeah. are is uh, because uh, the football now is changed. No, you, we, all the all the teams start to play better football. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is good for the for the people, but we lose a little bit the the sense of uh, defending. You know, it's defending to, to fight uh, to <laughs> we, fight we, we for. We talked about it with Chiellini, you know, yeah. like Chiellini, like. Uh, this kind of uh, we have here we have some years Casares, yeah. Uruguayan uh, defender. Uruguayan, yeah. Yeah. Uruguay. So this kind of defender, the, of central defender, we lose a little bit. We this kind of position we miss. We miss like it looks like every 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 episode we do we come back to the guardialism. Yeah. No, but the, but it was the guardialism was a brilliant. top brilliant because it's genius. He's yeah. genius of football, I think. Like a Cruyff, like uh, because he's yeah. like Elenio Herrera, like, like Herrera, Herrera, yeah, like, like Saki, like, like Saki. this kind of uh, genius. But this uh, kind of position lose some some characteristic, yeah. char something skills, you know. Yeah. This uh, kind of uh, player is difficult to find, and uh, and now if you if you want to buy this kind of player is difficult. Yeah, it's like difficult. If, if you imagine 10, 15 years ago, your typical central defender would be Chiellini. Yeah. This is your profile of a typical defender. Now it's John Stones. And it, it, I'm not saying it's wrong, but it's nicer, more comfortable with the ball, yeah. uh, not, not so aggressive and strong. It, it, the profile of the central defender changed completely. Yeah, but you have to understand where the football go. Yeah. It's like uh, the moda, no? Like yeah. fashion. fashion. Yeah. You know, all the thing has the fashion, you know, 20 years ago in your shirt is uh, like this yeah. and now it's fake, <laughs> yeah. you know, you have to understand where the, the football, football goes. goes. Yeah, this is very interesting because uh, we, we will be missing probably such a defenders like Chiellini, like Diego Godin, even like Kamil Glick, Glick in Poland because the yeah. characteristic very, very similar and you have some nightmares that you are, you know, Waking up in the night and think, oh my God, Kilini is not so young. We need yeah. such a guy. Yeah. As yeah. A, but we, we, have, we have Rugani who's 25. Yeah. Rugani is uh, more style like uh, Kilini. Like yeah. But uh, in ten central defender, three are like uh, Rugani, Rugani Kilini style, and seven like uh, Bonucci style or uh, yeah. like this. But it's, it's not so bad. Eh? It's, it's, it's just, just a difference. A, yeah. It's different. It's different style. Central defenders, right back, in your opinion. For me, right back is, is, is the most difficult to, to find now. Like when you look at the top teams, it's, it's a difficult one. Yeah, in the top team, yes. In the top team, maybe we, yes. We, but we, you we, have you, we did a good job. <laughs> we, we did the best deal. <laughs> no, but. Because yeah. Jao is, 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 you know, like. One Amazing. of the best, yeah. And but he can improve a lot. Eh? He can, he yeah. can go. But but you have to talk to him a lot. You have to talk to him yeah. a lot. If if you just let him be on the pitch, he he, he tends to relax. Uh, if you have to be on top of him for 90 minutes, which is uh, you, no you have to learn the the, the man. With, yeah. with Kirini, I don't have to talk uh, even one one word in, on the pitch. Yeah. he knows. 
Some you have to for 90 minutes. Uh, we played the game in Milan, and uh, Zhao came to me after the game. He goes, "Take what 90 minutes? You, do, I, I hear you, Zhao, 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 all the time. 90 <laughs> minutes, take." <laughs> Grazie mille. Thank you, Thank you for your time. It was a great pleasure to. It's my you. pleasure. Fabio Paratici, jak słyszeliście, to była bardzo inspirująca rozmowa o piłce. Chyba jedna z najbardziej inspirujących, jaką mieliśmy, inspirujących, jaką mieliśmy okazję przeprowadzić. Do zobaczenia w następnym odcinku Prosto w Szczerze. Wracamy do gry z pragnieniem niesamowitych wrażeń. Poczuj doskonały smak Coca-Cola Zero Cukru.